Good afternoon, Jay here. Uh, working on a small little project. I wanted to make some small 112 scale MRE boxes uh, just to add as some additional clutter to the, the vehicle uh, I'm making. Um, anytime there's a military vehicle deployed, there's, there's always a bunch of clutter in their tools, things like that. Um, what I've got here is just a, a quick pattern for the box itself. Basically, it's five main sections, and then the the, the side tabs folded over. Uh, this very, very top short or thin section is where the glue is going to go to hold the box together. Um, the next one below that is going to be the front panel, and then you have a side A, the back, and then a side B. And here I am, just kind of going out. Uh, these two top uh, tabs on the glue side. You don't really need these, and you can cut them off if you want. But uh, I'm just going to leave them on just to kind of give some extra strength to the box. This is just regular thin cardboard that was like the back of a action figure packaging. Uh, I'm cutting these side tabs a little over half uh, because when it folds over, I don't want them to overlap on each other. I want them to kind of meet and touch each other because um, that's the way an actual Marie box is. And I'm just using a, a metal knife and X-Acto blade. You can get at hobby shops or Amazon really cheap. I just want to make sure you're using a metal knife with X-Acto knives because if you're using a plastic one, they will, it'll mess up the, the ruler. It'll it'll nick it and and just kind of tear apart. You just can't get a straight edge on it. I'm just folding everything over. You can see how the the two pieces uh, meet instead of overlapping on the end cap. And the basic box is is there. The whole box is designed. Right here, I'm just applying. A thin layer of kicker, of a super glue kicker. Uh, when you use a kicker, it's going to make the glue uh, activate and, and and dry hardened instantly. Uh, you want to be real careful not to glue yourself while you're doing this. I've done it many times to pieces of paper and my mat and everything. But uh, just fold it over gently. Once the two come in contact, go ahead and just push it together and, and you got your box. Um, when you're using the kicker to activate the super glue, you don't need a lot. It's just a really, really thin uh, coat is enough to, to activate the super glue and make it bond instantly. Um, I'm just going to fold over the panels here again and I am going to apply another you know, thin, thin layer of kicker with this brush. I know they come with like spray bottles, all of them, but I don't like using a spray bottle. I prefer just to use a, a cheap uh, just a cheap paintbrush I bought online. Um, the brushes I got there, I bought for like five bucks or fifty on Amazon. Here I got a uh, what's that Bill Burr action figure from Black Series, just to kind of show what it looks like holding it in the hand in a 112 scale. And here's a a uh, photoshopped label for the actual MRE package. And I'm just gonna print that on some sticker paper and then just cut it and then put it onto the box itself. Now I'm going to take a very thin sheet of styrene, I think this is a 0.05 millimeter. I can't remember exactly, but it's really, really, really thin. And just cut a very, very uh, thin strip off the very end. And that's going to simulate the, you know, the plastic ties that are um, glued to all of the emery packages. Really don't need very, very much. It can be very thin. I don't know if you noticed, but the MRE packaging had some Easter eggs on there. I put some labels like Nostromo, Slaco, LV426. Uh, here I am just breaking it off. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this to the box. Wrap it around the box. There'll be two, two straps per box. And that's it. It's completely done. There's the finished project. I'm going ahead and put the stickers on and glue the straps onto it. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is just a little bit of weathering. Uh, all these MRE boxes are always kept in you know, dirty vehicles, utility trucks, things like that. And so they're always coming in contact with dirt, grime, you know, mud, oil, things like that. And so I'm just using a little bit of dark cooking oil and just gently going over the sides and the cardboard soaks it up really good and discolors it and I don't want to say dye, but I guess it's dye. Just discolors it enough so it looks dirty and grimy. And I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off all the excessive oil and you can see there, I've got a few others already down there. 
taped up together. I really like the way that that oil stains it. Uh, makes it look dirty. I really like the way this came out. I, uh, if anybody's interested, uh, you can let me know and I will put the patterns up in the in the photoshopped uh, MRE labels on uh, Google Docs or something that you can get for free if anybody wants. I did show the varnish I was using. It's just, just a regular Vallejo varnish and I went over each of the boxes twice just to give them a thin coat and seal up the, the project. But yeah, that's everything. I uh, hope anybody uh, found this useful. If anybody wants any of the any of the blueprints, let me know. Other than that, I uh, hope you have a good day. And thank you for watching.